A year-long battle between the Charleston Exchange Club and CARTA over six acres of land is continuing to heat up. CARTA held a board meeting this afternoon where members of the Exchange Club voiced their concerns. News 2 Sophia Radebaugh was there and joins us live with more from that meeting. Sophia. Hey, Brendan. Well, that six acres of land that you just mentioned, CARTA wants to use that for a bus depot in the near future, but people representing the Exchange Club here in Charleston say that would totally disrupt their operations on the fairgrounds. And because of that, they presented a second option to CARTA during their board meeting this afternoon. Now, CARTA claims using the six acres of land for a bus depot will increase mobility for all of the low country, but the Exchange Club is totally against it saying those six acres are used for their premier parking, not just for the fair, but also for events they have year round. Now this afternoon at Carta's board meeting, members of the Exchange Club proposed that Carta use a different portion of the fairgrounds on the other side of the front entrance, a space that they don't depend on as much as the front lot Carta wants to use. But Carta officials say the land they're proposing has not been federally approved for a grant and would set them back years in this process. The Exchange Club disagrees, saying moving the lot over is a no-brainer. That's the part that we don't understand. Why are they so insistent that they take our primary parking when we have another partial still on the same TMS number so it doesn't affect their federal grant money uh, available to them? We're going to have to sit down and talk about it and just make sure that they get fair value for the property that we agreed on many months ago, a year ago now, that was part of our federal application process. And Chairman of CARTA, Mike Seekings, tell me if the two groups cannot come to an agreement very soon, then there is a strong possibility that there could be legal action, legal action taken in the near future. For now, live in North Charleston, Sophia Radebaugh, Count on 2. Back to you guys. Next.